telling innocence is um, is our DNA. We like to explain the time, to show the time, and to display the time in another way. We always mix the mechanical, the tra traditional mechanical art to the timekeeper. So we have some discs, we have some levers, some connecting rods. We can use many, many uh, different things from the traditional industry, and we will put that in our watches. So, for example, when we started uh, Outlands, uh, the, the first meaning of telling time for us was to link the jumping hour, the retrograde minute, with the display and the visible mechanical system between. So that means we have a connecting rod system link with the movement. So we take the energy from the traditional movement in the chronometry and we spread the energy to two complications, a jumping disc hour and a retrograde minute. Now, with the HL2, we have done a new step, linking a three-dimensional chain to display the hour with the jumping chain hour. Everything is launched by the retrograde minute. When you have the minute going back to zero, you will free the energy of a dedicated barrel to the combination. And this is what is magic. You can see the chain rotating linked to the escapement. And this is why we have a really spectacular way to display the time in this three-dimensional movement. And it's, it's always a link between architecture, design and mechanical. it was really um, to reach a new step and, and to come back with a really strong design. The goal was really to, to have the same wow effect that what we had 10 years ago with the first HL. When we came in 2005 on the market with the HL movement and the HL concept, it was so minimalistic and so pure that people was not even able to relate that to a traditional watch. It was something really new. With the Vortex, this is the same. We have used our three-dimensional three movement with the HL2 chain. We have redesigned inside few details to improve some um, mechanisms, to improve some uh, energies and, uh, and different things, and specifically the bridges from the escapement wheels. So we have a kind of cylinder rotating uh, in front of uh, the movement because we have modified the position and the design of the HL2 movement to have the crown at 12 in the, in the square design. So we come back with the vortex with a linear design, an horizontal shape, and we have done some faces. So we have a lot of faces and it was a goal with the designer. We wanted to have something really strong and the inspiration was coming from the, the big buildings, the big skyscrapers in the world. I think today with the Vortex, I'm really proud of that project because it's a, it's a real teamwork. We have involved my friends from Paris for the design. I have my, uh, my watchmaker and engineers working here really hard to the project. And I'm really proud of this because it's a teamwork. It's a really strong design and I think this is the most amazing piece that we have launched since 2005 when we created the, the, the Outlands distribution with the first HL. The same wow effect is there and I'm really happy about it.